God bless you and your household. And thank you for joining us for another lesson of This Week in the Bible. My intent in bringing weekly Bible study directly to the people is to provoke thought, explain God's will as it relates to Scripture in a way that some will not have heard before, help to bring the body of Christ into the mature meat of the Word, and shed light on relevance and practical application. I never teach and or provide lessons to condemn, but instead to exhort. Today's lesson is called, I Surrender All. We've said the words and sang the song. Sometimes we've even had tears rolling down our faces. But when are we truly going to surrender all? God is asking you, when are you going to surrender all? You told him that you're tired of living in fear, doubt, and pain and that you're finished trying to halfway live in holiness. Yet, you're trying to fix it all yourself. You've made promise after promise and vow after vow, and you just won't stick with what you've said. God knows that you're waiting for some quick fix or magic in your life that will work at your command. But God doesn't deal in temporary quick fixes or magic and he definitely doesn't operate or jump at your command. The answer and help that you seek and need are available through God in a sold out holiness relationship with him alone. Not religion, not superstition, not just enough to get by, and not sometimes in and sometimes out. A real committed relationship where you know for sure what you want and what you want is Jesus. Not one foot in, but one eye, looking for something better. When will you learn and accept that there is nothing better? God has gifts and benefits for you that are beyond your wildest imagination, but first, you will have to surrender all. In the New Testament, please read Revelations chapter 3, verses 15 through 17. Have you been reading and studying your Bible? Are you growing and learning what the Word of God is saying to you? God is going to show you in his word what he expects of you personally and once you understand you are accountable to God. You won't fool him. He knows that you understand and as always God bless you and keep you. I am Minister Billy Burton, the founder and voice of Inspirational Minutes Ministries International.